The dissection of the specimen has yielded fascinating results. The liver, as I speak, is being eaten away before my very eyes, while the lungs have undergone a remarkable transformation. While 10% of the alveoli remain largely unchanged and have simply been rendered more efficient, the other 90% have undergone incredible transformations and can now harvest oxygen from any known oxygen compound, allowing the body to respire almost in any environment. Even more incredible are the alterations to the esophagus. <clears throat> the epiglottis is now capable of forming a perfect vacuum seal, thus allowing the subject to survive in the vacuum of space for short periods. Since the lungs can exchange both oxygen and carbon dioxide byproduct, a single breath can sustain the subject for several hours, although this does little to ameliorate the other hazards of vacuum. It would be remiss of me not to remark upon the incredible regenerative capabilities of the nanites. Even as I speak, they are closing up the incisions I've made, practically knitting the flesh back together. While intriguing, every good scientist knows that evidence must be replicated. I need a second specimen, and as luck would have it, the young subaltern who was also infected has been euthanized. I'm told there will be a short ceremony, then her body will be placed in the recycler. But I doubt anyone would notice if she ended up somewhere else. Besides, she was such a promising young woman, and to have her feeding the silver leaf seems wasteful.